Hey guys, this is Danny at Parte. So I'm not really sure why people still do this. I understand, you know, the statement about comparing your stuff to to other stuff that you made. Um, you know, I do that only for you to be able to tell the difference between um, what a lighter screen, a medium grade screen, and a dark screen like a black is going to bring you and what you're going to lose um, and gain going each direction because you lose something going lighter, you lose something going darker. Um, what I do want to show you, though, is I don't understand why these little bitty, I mean, just using these small little sample panels really doesn't get you anything. But I want you to pay close attention. This is really bad, you know, upload. I, I don't understand why people who, you know, do things with projection screens upload at 1080 still um, and sometimes at 720. I mean, if you want people to be able to tell the articulation, you need to at least upload at, at 1080, but really push towards a 4K resolution so that people can see. But you can tell, even in this little bitty panel, the color articulation, the contrast that you're going to gain. This is just silver paint. That's all it is. It's just silver mixed in with a level of metallic, and it's washing out bad. You can see it almost looks like the color of the wall. Um, all the colors in here are diluted, super diluted as soon as you turn the lights on. Now, that if that is the Centigrade 5D, looks like it is. If that's the Centigrade 5D, it's going to have about a 1.5 gain. Um, it's going to have a smaller viewing cone because of that gain. Anytime you get up to a 1.3 to and above, you're generally going to narrow your viewing cone. So that viewing cone is only going to be about 90. So you'll notice when he gets over to the side, it looks dark. Well, that helps make his, make his look better. Um, but that's... That's a bit unfair because the purpose of this screen is not to have a, a far wide viewing cone. This is to use in an environment where you're going to be sitting in a pretty narrow space um, like a home cinema. Um, so you can get the most out of your, your projector and get the most bang for your buck out of your projector light, uh, but also uh, be able to work against some ambient light. You can tell this is working far better against ambient light. This is true degree of ambient light rejection where this is not and you can tell the difference because look at look at the darks here right compared to here this is completely washing out so just be aware of those kind of things guys as you move forward um, just want to call out things for what they are what they're not right uh, so there you go you guys have a good day bye